Hello, you are welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says we should find a current in the 4 ohms resistor, which is the I term. So let's look at how you are going to solve it. Okay, so the first thing we do is to find the current in the circuit. Okay, and to find the current, since you know the total voltage, you must find the total resistance. So let's look at how you are going to do this. So from this circuit, you see that the four ohms, this four ohms here, and then this is ohms resistors will be in a parallel connection. So you are going to have four parallel six. Okay, so we will solve this, and then this will be in series with the 1.6 ohms, which is this 1.6 ohms. So after solving for the parallel connection, it will be in series with the 1.6 ohms. You're going to have plus what 1.6. So let's simplify this. You're going to have 4 times 6 divided by 4 plus 6. Okay, and 4 times 6 will give us. 24 and then 4 plus 6 will give us 10. So at the end, we are going to have 2.4 ohms. And this will be in series with the 1.6 ohms. You are going to have 2.4 plus 1.6. And this will give us a value of 4 ohms. Okay. So this 4 ohms here will be in, in parallel connection with this 6 ohms here. Okay. For us to see that, I'm going to redraw the circuit. So we have the circuit to be of this form. Okay, so we had 1.6 ohms here and then here to 6 ohms. Okay, but I have combined the, uh, the 4 and 6 which are in parallel and that gives us the 2.4 and then it was in series with the 1.6 here. So we combined we combined them and then now we have what four ohms so that four ohms will be in parallel with this six ohms so i have four ohms here okay and then we have the total voltage which is the 40 volt and this will be our i okay and then you're going to have i1 here okay and then you're going to have i2 here okay so now we are still going to have six being parallel with four, and if we already did that, that gives us 2.4 ohms. Okay, that's from this point here. So I don't want to solve it again. So this 2.4 ohms here will now be in series with the 1.6. Okay, so I'm going to have 2.4 plus 1.6, and this will give us four ohms again. Okay, so from here you can use uh, the formula V equals IR to find the total current in the circuit. So you are going to have the current to equal to the voltage over the total resistance. So that will be 40 over 4 and that will give us 10 amperes. So this will be the total current in the circuit. Okay, so now that you know the total current in the circuit, we can go ahead and find the value of I3. Okay, so to find I3, you will have to find I2 first. Okay, so let's look at how you are going to do this. So to find I2 from this circuit, we can use the current division to, to, to do that. So we are going to have I2 to be equal to the total current, which will be I, okay, times the 6 ohms, okay, divided by 6 plus 4 right so we know i to be 10 times the 6 ohms and then 6 plus 4 will be 10 this time will cancel out this 10 and we are going to have i2 to be equal to 6 amperes okay so now we know the current um, flowing through this 4 ohms resistor here right and then we know that we got this 4 ohms resistor by combining this 2.4 and this 1.6 because they are in series right and this 1.6 was the is the 1.6 here okay is the 1.6 at the top here let me indicate that is this 1.6 here because after you combining this 4 and 6 
we got the 2.4 okay and this 2.4 was in series with the 1.6 which means that the same current will, for, will flow through them okay so now that we know the actual resistance to be these four ohms and now we found the current flowing through which is the i2 i can say that the current flowing through the 1.6 will be the 6 amperes okay because it was in series uh, with the 2.4 and then we combine it to get the 4 ohms okay and the current in the 4 ohms is now 6 amperes that, that means the current in the 1.6 will also be what 6 amperes okay so now that you know the current in the 1.6 we can use that to find i3 so let's look at how i'm going to do that Okay, so to do this, I'm going to redraw that part of the circuit. Okay, so we have this part. Okay, I'm just going to draw this part of the circuit. Okay, so we have the 1.6 ohms here, then we have the 4 ohms here where the I3 is flowing through, and then we have the 6 ohms here right so our goal is to find i3 okay and then i2 will be coming from this side and then we already know that it is 6 amperes right so you can still use the current division rule to find i3 so we're going to have i3 to be equal to the total current which is 6 amperes okay times this 6 ohms that will be 6 over 6 plus 4 that be 10 right so i'm going to have i3 to be equal to 6 times 6 over 10 okay okay so 6 times 6 okay will give us 36 so i'm going to have 36 divided by 10 and this will be equal to 3.6 amperes so therefore this will be the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor which is i3